in their right mind has a problem with Bernie Sanders running as a Democrat uh, in, in 2020? These people are remarkably disingenuous. Uh, they're just... They never have anything to back up uh, what they're saying. It always comes off as a smear, a, a rancid hot take, a rancid opinion. Um, people who are hillbots, they're, they're bitter about 2016. Who isn't bitter about 2016? But they project it all into Bernie Sanders. And it's just, it's comical. It, it's absolutely comical. Uh, when Bernie Sanders maintains over 90% approval rating from his colleagues in Congress. And he also maintains, eight, it's above 80%, it's like probably 82% approval rating with Democratic voters. Eight, that's eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 Democratic voters like and support Bernie Sanders. But you have this small faction. Now, I said 8 out of 10, so there's 2 out of 10 there. That's 20%. 20% of Democratic voters, 2 out of 10, have a huge, huge problem with Bernie Sanders. And they make their, their, their case pretty loudly on social media. And we all know social media, everything's amplified. The smallest niche can be one of the loudest ones online. Because it's just, it's just everybody has their say, and everybody can, you know, make their make themselves known, and they do that with, with these hillbots, uh, you know, out to smear Bernie as a Russian, his his supporters as Russian agents, and this infection of Russia Gate has just spilled over, and it's just ridiculous. There's nothing to back it up. It's a smear campaign, and like I said, he has such overwhelming support from his colleagues and overwhelming support from Democratic voters. So just knowing that, you don't have, no one should be buying into this. You shouldn't be buying into it anyway. But if there's some people who are on the fence about it, understand the facts. Bernie Sanders is very popular. Very, He's very well liked. He's very well loved. But you have this small faction of embittered Hillbots who will do anything to smear his name. And I'm saying to you, who's on the fence, don't buy it. Because, like I said, 80%, 90% approval ratings, you just can't let that go. That says a lot. That says everything you need to know about a person uh, who is a public figure, who is a politician. Not many public figures and politicians will score that high on anything. Uh, so... Just don't buy into it. There's a huge smear campaign against progressives in general, but definitely Bernie Sanders. You know, whatever, he's too old, he's a Russian agent, just just whatever Alex Jones-like conspiracy is out there, they're pushing it. They're gonna push it. Um, but, <laughs> I mean, listen, no one, I'm saying nobody should have a problem with Bernie Sanders running as a Democrat. And the system is rigged that way. The system is not rigged for an independent or third party to win. Uh, and that's the reason why he ran as a de Democrat in 2016. Because of the debates, because of funding, because of all these other things behind the scenes. You know, I don't even know how the Electoral College works. I mean, Ross Perot was one of the biggest third party uh, candidates in history. And I don't even think he won any of the Electoral College. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure he didn't even win anything. And he was the largest third party, one of the largest third party candidates ever. So I don't know how that works. It's ridiculous. If Bernie runs, he's got to run as a Dem. Uh, it, the system is not made for third party candidates to be successful. Bernie knows that. That's why he ran as a Dem in 2016. But anyway, ignore these people. They're garbage. Their smear campaigns are garbage. Uh, just send them off to Alex Jones land. Whatever. Okay, like, share, subscribe.